You know what it is, man. We got my guy, Big Tanks, bro. Big oh, bro. Tanks. Come on, brother. Yes, bro. You need to send me a workout routine, bro. Bro, I, I <laughs> seen there, bro. Seen, bro. This, bro. I'm not even there yet, bro. I'm not there yet. Mm. But let's go straight in, bro. Like, obviously, tell me about yourself. Like, wh what area are you from? I'm from Northwest London, bro. Mm -mm. And then my parents are from Grenada. Mm -mm. Where, where, where are you from, actually? What country? Me. You from? I'm Nigerian, bro. Oh, swear, fully. Yeah. yeah, fully. Both parents. Okay, okay. So that. Mm -mm. Yeah, man. So most people will be thinking I'm I'm Jamaican or some shit, Mark. Yeah, I thought you were like half and half even. Half Af, half Caribbean. That's mm. hard to be. Yeah, I, I get that a lot still, but you know mm. what I'm saying? So yeah, so like, firstly, how did you get that name Tanks, actually? Okay, this is a good one. Basically, okay, I'll, mm. even, I'll even say this, okay. I got the name Tanks, you know, because a guy, must, a guy I went secondary with who was involved in, he was, he was, invo he was involved in a fucking murder of some other Whoa. guy in the area, yeah. But because in secondary, I was a, I, I'm a tall guy. But I was also fat in secondary. <laughs> I was also fat, and then he would just call me tanks. He was like, "You'd be like, you're my, t you're a tank, bro." And he would just say, "Call me tanks," and then I just mm -hmm. ran with it, bro. And then, yeah, I just kept going with it. So where, uh, so it. in your IG name it says BR tanks. So where does that BR come from? Oh, well, the BR comes from because most of my boys were Brazilian in secondary, mm. and that was it, bro. And then we was just making money together, and then we was like, "Fuck it, BR Brazil." Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> was like, Fuck it. Would you ever want to go to Brazil? Yeah, I, I want to go to Brazil, but my Brazilian boys, they're saying not to come now. They're saying, oh, right. they're saying because the parts they live in are dangerous and shit like that. But yeah, but Brazil does scare me, though. I can't lie. No, because I'm hearing even if you want to go to the favelas, bro, like it's either you have to go there with someone you, you know that lives there or you have to have permission from the guys. Yeah. Like, literally, you can't just be going in there, bro. It's nuts. But I wouldn't want to go to the favela, favelas, bro, because like, Think about it, bro. They got most man. They got nothing to lose, bro. It's gonna rob you, like. <laughs> nah, it's gonna rob you, bro. Nah, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it, bro. Like, because you know the things we take for granted in here, mm. that they, they will take it, bro. They will take it with both hands, literally, bro. It, bro. That's why. I, that's why I advise people to travel because when you travel, you see the what you have a different understanding of the mm -hmm. world, a different outlook, bro. Mm -hmm. You realize how blessed we are to be in the UK. No, it's, it's true. It's true. Obviously, there's things that can be fixed, but obviously, like we're still. This is probably one of the best countries, top ten. Maybe top twenty, if no, that. Definitely top. Which, I'll put it top five. Top five. What, what countries are better than to live in than the UK? Maybe that's like Sweden, Norway. Sweden. Uh, Denmark. You know them Nordic countries there. Oh yeah, them Scandinavian, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they're nice. I know. I heard they have a nice quality of life. I read that somewhere. Mm -hmm. So them places. That that's what I would I would probably say top ten maybe. Mm. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So let's go into the questions. Like, how do you get into F? Like. What did you? Were you a middle? Were you like? Yeah, I, st I started mm -mm. off. First off, I started off doing the paper thing in college, like mm -mm. The little shit. Where I was clicking, where I was clicking fucking text and shit, and then obviously I moved up to clicking with CCs and fucking clicking P, like everything, bro. Just everything you see on Amazon or fucking curries, like any anything worth money. I was clicking AirPods, like Max, e everything. I was running tech, all of that. And then as I was work working my way up, I did become a middle for a loader. And then I just worked my way around more Telegram group chats, got more educated, mm -hmm. and then I ended up leveling up further. Like that's that's how it goes. I think that's everyone's story. It's like, it's Unless like, you have someone who, who's up there who puts you on, but that's rare. You have to work your way up yourself. Because I feel, with like, was obviously with F, it's like, I feel, it's obviously I, the only thing I really know about is the PGP thing, and the spoofing thing, which has kind of died, really, isn't it? Yeah. So everyone's on it, bro. It's like, bro, and it's bro. Apparently now it's like you don't pay, you don't. It's like you have to pay per minute or something like that. Well, it depends who your who your um who your vendor is for the who you got your PGP from. Mm -hmm. It depends, bro. Some people charge per minute. Some people, it's weird. It's different. They all they're all different. It depends who you go with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, so like, so because I feel like, and also with Telegram, how did you? I'm guessing there's a lot of losses that that came with it, learning and that. Cause you might learn one thing. It might be it. It might just be you might have been the method for that time, in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Were there times like that? Nah, bro. Cause I started off on ICQ like before I was even in college. Oh, must okay. You must have been in college. Yeah. Oh, saying that. When I was way younger, bro, and just mm -hmm. like, there, just trying to do the F thing. Cause I don't know. One of my, I was so ahead of our time, bro. I was in like what year nine? And then I'm hearing about ICQ and that my boys telling me about. It. I'm like, what? And I got scammed by these American pricks, bro. The, <laughs> these American dickheads are the ones who were scamming on ICQ, bro. So I gave up, bro. Like, I tried there. I fucking had no money anyway because I was in year nine. I saved up and then some American pricks scammed me, bro. Mm -hmm. So then when I go to college, when I went to college, we fucking, um, we fucking started. Wait, what was the question again? Uh, how uh, I got into it? Yeah, how you got into it? Yeah, so that happened. Then when I went to college, 
I'm, I came on the first day I was working in View. I already got a job at View when I turned 16. I was like, yeah, I'm going to work, get my money legit. And then as I'm going in college, I'm seeing all the niggas like with bread and that. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, I'm like, yo, I, like, I need that. Like, fuck that, bro. Mm -hmm. and I even looked at, and then I looked at my boy T's. I'm like, nah, bro, we, we need bread. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and we're trying to be up, bro. So we, so T, in one of, um, oh no, I can't even say that, but in one of my boy's <laughs> classes, mm -hmm. yeah, he linked up with a guy who was on it. Um, He linked up with a guy who was on it. And then he put him on. And then, mm. that's why I got my love for my nigga, he put me on. And then we, it was a thing where we were both elevating with each other because we were both giving each other methods, telling guy, telling each other like, oh, this works, that works, oh, start banging this, start banging that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So we're, we're bouncing off of each other, growing in this F thing. Mm. But with, with F-Abs, I feel like a lot of people don't like, like sharing methods, bro. Oh, they for don't, F bro. Like, how comes, oh, coming from you, why do people not like to share methods? Okay, let me, okay, let me tell you something, yeah. Mm. You don't tell... <laughs> The more people that know your method, the more burnt out it's going to get. Mm. So that's why you keep it as in your circle, as tight in your circle as possible. Because you tell someone else who's not really in your circle, they go tell someone else, they go tell someone else. They go, and then before you know it, the whole of London knows your method. Mm. And then the method's going to die. You want as little people knowing it as possible. And in this, F, in this F game, I don't really fuck with niggas in the F game. Like There's other mm. niggas in my area who do F. I don't really fuck with them. I just... I just it's weird, bro. I don't fuck with other <laughs> F niggas, bro. I'll be real. I feel you. I feel you. And there's a lot of jealousy as well, bro. Like, I just, I can't... It's, it's just fucked, bro. It's fucked. It's for gazy as well. So, so obviously, I feel like a lot, it's, F has become way more popular maybe in the last two years. Yeah. But at a point, it weren't really, people weren't really fucking with it. Like, why did you choose that? Because obviously, this probably covers... You probably answered this in a sense with the last question, but why did you choose F instead of, like, trapping... Or satin, or even doing like, doing the, what's it called? Not, not setups, bro, not setups. What do you call them? Licks. Oh, Hit, licks. You know, I was yeah. doing licks, though. That's oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was doing licks, bro, but, but like I said, bro, like, oh. I, at first I was hitting licks. You know that first summer, I don't know if you remember it, but well, you course remember it. You know that summer after you've done your GCSEs? Yeah, yeah. That, for me, I don't know about you, but that was like the best summer of my life, bro. Like, Carney was lit. Like, everything was lit, bro. We That was the summer where we all were hitting licks for college. Because mm -hmm. that was when I'd heard, oh, I'm not getting the tracksuits I want for college. So we was just, I can even say this now, bro, because <laughs> now, now I'm seeing on fucking TikTok fucking kids running up in candy shops and shit in Central uh, yeah. now, bro. Mm -hmm. So I've they're brave that. now. But the thing is, we were even more brave back in the day because we'd literally run up in John Lewis. Must have run up in there. Run up, like, bait face. Five man up. Bro. I was fat as shit, bro. Like, <laughs> we were not athletic, nothing, bro. Like, I'm telling you, we'd run up in, like, John Lewis, House of Fraser. We never did it in our area. We'd go to, like, Quay areas. Areas like, I'm not even going to say the names of the areas, but, like, areas of rap in different parts of London because mm -hmm. like, for people that live in for the people that don't live in London like bro like they, like London's a big fucking place there's bare centres and that bare like you can go to the other side of London and then it will never trace back to you the feds will never even do it but yeah so we'd run up in shops like five man up bait face mainly JD we'd just go in there pick up all the clothes we want pick up like stuff and then once we've all got our shit look at each other dash out the door mm -hmm. and we just used to do that bro we used to sell resell the shit as well that was the first shot, bro. I was doing that all summer. I don't know how the fuck we didn't get caught. Yeah, bro. That, it's a that miracle. Was, it, it, bro, literally. <laughs> but now let's go. This is an age old question that's been asked so many times. Mm. Is fraud a grind? Is fraud a grind? <laughs> is it a grind? Whatever makes you money is a grind, bro. Whatever makes you money, yeah? Whatever makes you money is a grind, bro. The people who will say it's not a grind are the ones who are not making any money and I have no grind. Fair enough. You got a point. You got a point in store. I promise you, bro. Because people. Mm. Uh, man. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go and uh, this this is another one, the documentary, bro. Yeah. Like it got numbers, bro. It got like TikTok had done bare views. I I watched it, bare people I know watched it type of thing. And they was talking about it like so how so how did that impact you, that documentary? How did that impact me? Well I yeah. did I did end up catching two cases. <laughs> I'll be so real. I'll be so real. But they're boss now, bro. Mm. I caught a conspiracy to defraud the banking system and a money laundering case. Because mm -hmm. after that documentary and in the discovery it literally said it was because of the BBC documentary but God bless God willing God willing I ended up busting all of that just because I had a good lawyer because I'm mm -hmm. I promise you man if I, if I had a duty solicitor I'd have been fucked <laughs> I promise you like this is why you see all these jewel rappers and that go in jail because these lawyers are fucking expensive bro like mm -hmm. they're very very fucking expensive but if you ain't got like the difference between having a private lawyer and a fucking duty night and day bro 
Mm-hmm. Night and fucking day, bro. I'm telling you, trust me, bro. Beso- beso- yeah, a lawyer. So for someone who's who's doing whatever they're doing, how much money should they set aside just in case for these rainy days where they do have to go court? That's a very, very good question. And I'd say, first off, make sure it's clean money because they're going to investigate you. Mm. Make sure it's fully legit money, like not money you've laundered into your accounts. Make sure it's fully, fully clean, clean money because mm-hmm. they're going to monitor that shit. So I'd say put aside at least, brother, at least 25 bags. Hey, 25 bags. That's not even that's not even what I pay, bro. That's oh what, my god. That's a lot of money, bro. Can't when you're going through a case, bro, it's, <laughs> it's like these men are not cheap, bro. I swear to like let me tell you this here. Yeah, there was this one time, mm. no, around um this was around the time when before I bust case, when I was going to uni. I was I was going to uni, I was sitting in my car with my boy S. And then my lawyer my lawyer called me up. No, I called up my lawyer. I called up my lawyer because my last account got frozen. They filed something called an account freezing order, the AFO. And that was my last account that got frozen, innit? So I called up my lawyer and I start telling him about it and I'm just like panicking, like, bruv, like, my last account's been frozen, like, how, how do I pay you legit now, like, stuff like that. And then I put the phone down, end of the call, and then at the end of all of that, when they sent me the um the bill, because I was paying them a couple racks a week, I was paying them a couple racks a week to keep, to keep mm. going, innit? But at the end, when they sent me the final bill and I saw the, the, the what's it called, statement, or where mm. it has everything, or the receipt, and then I saw that phone call that was like 45 seconds. He charged 400 pounds. Because hey. he, said, he said something about he was advising for it or some, some bullshit. But he corrected bro, it when I, when I called him up on it afterwards. He corrected it. But he, but like, bro, he tried to charge me four bills. F- bro, four that bills, is nuts, bro. bro. That is nuts. It's crazy, fam. Because like, I'm guessing you that, that should only be set aside for something serious. Like when it's mm. a serious case type of thing, isn't it? Yeah, man, 100. Mm-hmm. You should have money saved anyway, bro. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? You have money saved anyway. No, it's true, man. Always got to keep something for the rainy days, man. Because niggas, like, like, people don't believe it, bro. People think, like, oh, F is all this, all that, bro. Like, when you get money, when you're getting money in F, like, you get used to a certain lifestyle and you just you just find yourself trapped in it, bro. You find yourself spending so much money, bro, to keep up your lifestyle and it catches up to you eventually. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, so n- now let's go into it. So I was, I was pre some of your, your old posts here and the last post, you, the last post I see my man, the guy who made the documentary, was uh, commented and he asked for an interview. Would you ever do that? I mean, bro, I'd, what what have I got to gain from that? Cause, but she say it'll be it, it. It could be a meme still. It could be a meme. I don't want to be a meme, bro. I'm I'm, uh, happy, I'm happy with how life is, bro. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm happy, bro. I'm getting my degree next year. Bro, oh, big up yourself, brother. You know Come yeah, on, big up, man. I'm getting my degree next year, bro. Mm-mm. I'm fucking living life. I've been to 20 countries this year. It, this year? This year, bro. Bro, show me the way, brother, bro. Show bro, me the way. That's what, bro, that's all I love doing, bro. I love travelling, bro. Mm-hmm. Literally, bro. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, so, but in terms of reopening that kind of worms and talking to this guy, I wouldn't mind if you did it. Saint, bro, I, I, I'm going to DM him. I'm going to chat to him, try to do an interview separately with him. We can try to do a live stream, in it. Oh, he'll and jump at that interview with you. <laughs> he'll jump at it, bro. Giving him another leg to stand on, bro. Bro, I know it's going to be a crazy one, bro. It's going to be crazy, bro. Like, so... Let's pattern that. Let's pattern that. But now let's go to the next thing. Like, how did you? How do you? Do you feel feel like you're fairly portrayed there in that in in that documentary? Oh, they portrayed me as a villain, even though it was a victimless crime. Mm. But but then again, you're still committing a crime in a sense, isn't it? What? The, like, the, the, that's all alleged. Uh, allegedly, allegedly. Obviously, like allegedly. this is this is all fiction. Tanks is fiction. We're talking about like imaginary stuff, but like, yeah, man. We're in, we're, we're in the we're in the girl's head. We're in dream. <laughs> <laughs> but like allegedly like you were committing crimes and you were allegedly selling uh fraud kits and stuff so like so obviously that is that is a, isn't a good look in a set in the eyes of the law isn't a good look it's not at all but my point is i already said um had the legal repercussions that came up with me um after that but my point is that the doc- uh, the documentary was poor journalism because at the start of the documentary, he talks, he literally proves, shows us that it's a victimless crime. He shows us the only people that suffer are the banks and the holder and no one cares about them. It's stress, it does bring stress on the victims I was, but I, and I reacted to it. You can see it on my Twitch. I was sorry to see that. Sorry to see the people going through that, but they got their money back and they've learned mm-hmm. from it. They've learned not to be so na- not so naive next time and that's potentially stopped them from getting scammed for bigger things. Stop them from maybe getting into pyramid schemes. Mm-mm-mm. Facts, no. That's, what I'm, that's my point, bro. Like okay. everyone needs to get scammed to realize, oh shit, this world. Bro, happen, a joke. it happens to everyone, bro. We all take L's, bro. Literally, does, bro. bro. And most people stay silent about it. Mm-mm. So credit to the people in the documentary who had the courage to come forward. And I'm sorry that happened to you guys, but 
You've learned from it. <laughs> you've learned from it. And you got your money back. No, I hear, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. And yeah, but yeah, to be fair, even sometimes the whole time, not all the time, it's not really an L for them all the time, isn't it? But it can be a headache in terms of credit score. Well, wait, and no, get, just get a, the whole thing will get a CFS market every time now. Before, oh, now? Oh, shit. Yeah, all the, it's always been like that. If you get caught for it, they'll give you a CFS. But back in the day, with certain banks I'd work with, I'd have certain excuses ready. So <laughs> so they could, so like they wouldn't give you a CFS market because a lot of men are brutal. A lot of you middles, like, you fucking just... You fucking just sell holders dreams and you don't tell them about a CFAS like karma's gonna hit you bro because CFAS mm-hmm. that's six years mm-hmm. you're fucking them up like they can't get credit cards nothing like you're, you're like you man are the worst they're the worst type of people because mm-hmm. I tell people how it is I'm like listen you're gonna get a CFAS I'm like as, as ironic as it sounds bro in this scamming thing I have I have honour in it mm-hmm. like if I tell you I'm giving you 40% I'll give you 40% no, I, I rate that. I respect that because a lot of men will just run off. They'll just finesse their bread. Like, oh, that's why I've got mm-hmm. my middles there. I've got my middles there and I just work with them. I don't need anyone else. Out. I don't trust anyone else, bro. I just keep it tight because I, I let they eat, bro. We all eat. Mm-hmm. I, Allegedly. Mm-hmm. I, I rate it. And also, my man tried to beat out your, your gov store, the first name. Oh, Chai- yeah. Yeah. Did he? I'm, yeah, but see, he, like, I, don't, I don't think he even responded to it. You probably just said, fuck this. But he basically, he said, that he, he said something like, Luke in it. Like, oh. yeah, he said that, so that's a mad thing, still. That's a mad thing. I don't know. So whoever this Luke guy is, I feel bad for him, man. <laughs> yeah, no, bro. He, he shouldn't be committing crimes, isn't it, Luke? Yeah, he like, shouldn't, he shouldn't yeah. be committing crimes, yeah. <laughs> 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 and this guy, man. <laughs> but no, but literally, because obviously, my, the guy who done the documentary, he was getting violated in, in like, your comments and that, bro. Like, people on, t- on his ass, people were violating him in his own... IG and that mm. so that like, bro like, like it, at my least you got my fans are loyal still I, I, yeah it's a good fan base but even that like, I see your most latest video is like 157k or something like that in views I think so yeah yeah so it's like how is it building your own platform yeah. Like not having to rely on the GRMs, the mixtapes, and that to promote your music. Oh, it's nice, bro. It's nice because even that I put no like that. You need to understand as well, but I put no adverts into that shit. Mm-hmm. No promotion, like no playlist from Spotify, bro. It's all organic, all just natural support, bro. Which is like it's nice having your own platform because you ain't got to like submit a video to GRM and fucking wait like weeks <laughs> and stuff. Like even though I have two songs on or three, I don't know. I have a couple songs on GRM, but I've decided now I'm gonna just mainly stick with my own platform, but. Nothing against GRM because these men they always write articles on my songs even if I post it on my own channel mm-hmm. and they gave me the one mic freestyle that they still haven't paid I still haven't been paid for that bro you, 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 you might have to get on the ass for that one still I mean, I'll give I'll allow them because they're writing articles on me you get it no but, no, but I, hear, I hear you but still bro they probably you're... owe me like what like, it's probably like realistically like max like four or five bills like I hear, like, I hear it. And they don't charge me to upload on their channel either. So, oh, fair. You know what I'm I, I, I hear what and you're I'm saying. And I'm hearing they're stuff. charging certain man six fifty now. Six fifty. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was like three fifty four bills. Something it was like that. three fifty. That's what I remember. But now I'm hearing six fifty. Hey, these men are finessing, brothers. That's, saying, like, that's why I advise every artist, like if you're listening, start your own platform and instead of spending it on GRM, put it on ads because I'm telling you, man, like us, if you get premier on GRM, you don't have to pay, and people only look at GRM really if it's premier. It's not mm-hmm. worth paying 650. You can put that in Google Ads, bro, and you can get like what? That's like 100 and something K views. Mm-hmm. Hear it, hear it. Obviously, obviously, don't just bang it. You have to do it smart, the ads in it. There's ways of making yeah, the yeah. ads so it's more organic and that. That's what I'm saying. There's people out there who you can pay to do the ads for you. Mm-hmm. There's loads of people who know what they're doing with the music team for the ads. So, what's your next steps in terms of music? Are you trying to have artists yourself? Are you going to do more collabs? Is there anyone in particular you want to work with more? I'll be real, I don't give a fuck about music, bro. Man said that, bro. I don't give a shit bro, about you music. You actually got bro. mad potential, bro. Bro, no, I've listened, bro. I've, 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 with this music thing, bro, I, I, I recorded a song while I was taking a shit and it's on how many millions of streams, bro. It's Man said that. million views, bro. Like, I, I think I'm done with music, bro. Like, not, it's, it's done like that. I've got songs there that I might release, I might shoot videos for. I've got one with K1. One with K1, I got a song oh, with Y.A. Oh, oh, like K1 and 15 and that. No, nah, no, nah, not, 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 not that K1, not that K1. Oh, oh no, the, the one from Derby. No, 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 you'll see when it comes out. I'll see it, nice. You'll see when it comes out. I got a song mm-hmm. with Y.A. as well. Oh, well, my man, that, that NR guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I got a chat with Y.A. Mm-hmm. And I got a chat with TJ at Sits as well. Oh, you finally got it? Yeah, bro, it's been... It's been my been nigga. Long, Bro, when you drop it, because we, we even spoke about that in the last interview we did store. Yeah. 
and I can't get in contact with TJ right now, bro. The number I had with him is not working. <laughs> Because, yeah, but I think he's gone through a lot. I think, I feel, I feel like he's just hopped off everything, innit? But personally, I think he might as well drop it, innit? Ah, uh, man, I don't know, man. I'm, I might drop it in. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. Just pray for TJ, though. The thing is, bro, I don't enjoy making music, bro. Like, I don't. Why, bro? Like, I don't, because the thing is, bro, I make, I rarely ever hit studio, bro. I rarely ever, and when I do hit studio, I only hit studio when, because I've written a song, and I can only write music when, like, like, I come up with my lyrics and my lines, bro, while I'm out, fucking getting active, getting busy, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> understand and I haven't really got time for music bro like I don't know man it's a weird one it's oh a weird mad one. mad mad people always get confused when I tell them this bro because bro like because like if you take it in that could, this could be your path of like doing something else in, in a sense you know what I'm saying bro, bro let me tell you this yeah because I've realised bro we're in the uh, like, I, I, we're in the hood wait I don't know about you bro but we're in the hood mm-hmm. I'd I say we're in the hood innit yeah yeah so we're both in the hood yeah they always said from, the, from when we were young you either end up dead or in jail mm. yeah and I've nearly I've nearly gone jail twice, and I've nearly ended up dead once. Mm. So I think that's my wake up call to get the fuck out of this, get the fuck out of this shit, bro. Because I'm, I'm trying to get the fuck out of this shit, bro. Because rappers are even bigger targets, bro. Mm, I hear it, but and then I'm, again, you're you're not big face, bro. I'm not, bro. But people know my fucking face, bro. Like there's times, bro. There was one time, yeah, when I went to some uni motive, some uni clash shit in fucking. Prism Kingston, I know scattiest club ever. Don't ever fucking go there. Like, <laughs> my boy, my boy, my boy dragged me there, innit? Fucking went there, yeah. Went inside, and then when we're coming out, one guy who my guy was cool with in the club when was come, we left early, innit? It was meant to finish like two. I said, fuck it, let's go with like twelve thirty. Like I was, I went to car, it was shit motive. Mm-hmm. He fucking got a phone call from someone in there, and then he, the guy was saying, ah, oh, you man still in there? You still, you and Tank still in there? And then he's like, no, we we just cut. They were sitting in my car at this point, innit? Ready to drive back. And then the guy says, oh, there's man trying to stay in tanks. They're mm. in tanks, is it? They're trying to stay in tanks, bro. And like, and I'm hearing that on speaker, bro. When I'm in, and I'm just like, yo, like, what the fuck, fam? Like, no, because you know what? I feel like with a lot of men, especially it's a clout move, that like, literally if I was an upcoming rapper, if I was, if an upcoming rapper was to rob you, like, bro, that would be on all these drill pages. on. Nah, on the you would see it as wet, bro. Ah, but it's free attention, bro. Like, remember. Attentions, but you're mute. Ah. Because because True. they rob they rob tanks, bro. Like l- 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 a, a big artist. They're gonna get respect for that. Like Robin is scatty now, bro. F- depend on depending on, on the uh, the scenario. And but bro, niggas are broke as well. No, that is facts. That's very facts. Niggas, that is facts. I can't be in the hood, bro. Niggas are broke. <laughs> niggas hungry, bro. Yeah, niggas are broke. I can't be around broke niggas, man. I can't, bro. That's why I roll on my own more time, bro. That's why I'm, I'm, I move solo now, bro. I can't. Ro- like no offense, bro. But I can't roll with no. Broke niggas, bro. No offense. I hope no one gets offended by that. <laughs> if you get offended by that, then I'm sorry to say. Mm-hmm. No, but I, nah, man, I can't, bro. You can't like when you when you get money, bro. When you live the when you when you have live a certain lifestyle, bro. You can't take other niggas with you. You have to just oh, do it on your own. That's because, why I travel on my own. Because don't you feel like? But obviously, like, don't you feel like? Oh, you know, I wanna put my niggas on. I wanna help them out. That like, maybe. One of them could be be doing this and that. Bro, one, I was on mm-hmm. that. I was on that, but then I realized niggas don't want to do no work. Niggas just want handouts. That's true. And I realized mm-hmm. that quickly. That's why. That's why I just said, "Fuck this, bro. I'm just rolling on my own." Like, fuck that, bro. I'ma fly Germany today. I'ma fly France today, bro. Mm-hmm. I'ma go Switzerland today. And I, I just started fucking living my life, bro. Not giving a fuck, bro. Mm-hmm. No, I hear it. No, I respect that 100. percent You have to, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I work. You know, Pokey Banks. Yeah. And mm-hmm. AP and these guys, bro. When I chill with them, man, it's calm because them man are up as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when you're chilling with broke niggas, it's like, uh, like, like when them niggas, like, let me tell you, man, son, yeah. Yeah, go on, go on. When them niggas come round, them niggas, like, them niggas who are like, oh, you're breaded, bro. Oh, you're breaded, all this, bro. Stay the fuck away from them niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. Them niggas don't want to put in no. Like, if you had any <laughs> intention of putting in work to get money, you wouldn't be like, oh, thanks, got bread, man. You'd be like, raw, man. Like, he got money. I need to figure out how am I going to get mine? Mm-hmm. Where's mine? How am I going to get mine, bro? Hera, and hera. the niggas you ask that question in the hood more more likely just want to fucking stay in you no like hera door you or something no hera still that that you that once you're up it, if you're still in the hood you need to you need to work out work out you need to move smart man mm. for real man for real you have to not even move smart get out would you say you're still in the hood right now no nah I wouldn't mm. say right now man. Mm. so that what's your I don't, I don't mm. live there anymore I don't live in the hood anymore like I live, I live with Essex, right? Well, I don't live there. My girl lives in Essex. I've been staying with her for a bit, but I'm gonna try and move there for a while. No, it's nice and peaceful though. No, I respect that. I respect it, innit? Like, but so I feel like, but don't you miss it? Like the the ends, like I don't miss it one bit, bro. Ah, 
Syrup was like <laughs> literally there's times I've been away for like a week or something. I come back, I'm like, yeah, man, like ain't ain't being around there for a minute. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like even though I, like with me, it's a love hate relationship. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Literally, that's it. Mm-hmm. It's a love hate thing. Cause I do miss it, but like at the same time, I'm just like, nah, man, like I, I don't miss this, but like I miss it. Let's say like okay, when I was in Portugal, like a week, no, no, when I was in Portugal, like start of July. When I was there, I was having the time of my life, but I was like, oh, I actually slightly miss the UK. Like, I went rolling loud. I was like, oh, I slightly miss the UK. And then the day I come back, bro, I was like, nah, fuck this, bro. Like, I need to get out, bro. Like, literally, mm-hmm. that's how it is, bro. Fuck the UK, man. And I hear it, I hear it. Bro, fuck the UK. Like, God save our queen. And... Oh, yeah, she's on the money and that, so you got yeah, you, bro. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. you. We love Elizabeth, bro. We've, we've, <laughs> niggas have been killed for her, fam. Bro, yeah, for real. <laughs> for big facts, bro. Big facts. But, yeah, also... Uh, but I thought that like, there's so much to talk about here, bro. It's crazy. It is, man. So like, with the uni- so you went university. Why did you? So why why did you go university, bro? Like, when you're making this money, you're doing your rap. You know what I'm saying? Why do you say, oh, I'm gonna keep going uni? I don't know what it is. I I did not want to go uni. Like, I just wanted to take a like I just wanted to take a gap year and travel fully, just travel. But my parents said no. <laughs> my parents said no nah. like they forced me like like you're going uni it was my choice i could have said no nah, but they're like nah you're going uni or you're getting a legit job and i'm like what are you talking about and i paid rent like i'm giving you money for this that like and he's like nah you're gonna get and i'm just like no nah, man so then it's like a situation where it's like okay if i don't go uni my parents are gonna be pissed at me i'm gonna have to fucking move out and then i don't i wouldn't have to get a normal job but i'd have to move out but how can i move out when i'm just turned 18 and i ain't got proof of income i ain't paid tax i can't rent nowhere you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm, so that was the situation, bro. So, yeah, that's why I went uni pretty much. Because I was forced to. Mm-mm. If I had the proof of income for two years and I had a fucking guarantee, I would have moved up. <laughs> no, 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 here I moved up. <laughs> so what's your plans? Obviously, what's, like, away from this, like, f thing and the music thing, what are you trying to do now, like, in, in life? Like, are you trying to do business? Are you trying to do other things? Like, what's the vibe? You know what? I'm not going to answer that. Okay. I'm Mm-mm. not going to answer that. Because I, I don't want people knowing my next move. Mm-mm. Come on, chest, chest, chest. <laughs> chest <to> that, bro. <laughs> oh, bro, come on, man. You know. No, nah, no, nah, I, I respect that. I respect that. Yeah, man. But you know, I got a question for you, though, bro. Mm-hmm. I got you go question, on. I got yeah, go you, on. Bro. Yeah, go on. Say that. Say that. What do you think? Yeah, and keep in mind, bro. You don't mm-hmm. want to be. <laughs> a lot of guys would answer this differently just for pussy. But nah. I know you're not that guy. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Andrew Tate being banned on Instagram? I think honest. honest views. I feel like he shouldn't have been banned. Okay, because why? on Instagram, he has not posted anything that breaks the guidelines. He hasn't posted anything that breaks the guidelines. He hasn't said anything on Instagram that breaks guidelines. Mm. Just because people choose to post clips of him on TikTok doesn't mean that you may disagree with, doesn't give you the right to ban him. You know what I'm saying? People see him as a, I think what it was, in the terms of service of Instagram, it says dangerous people are not allowed and I think they banned him saying he's a dangerous individual but how's he a dangerous individual he has not been convicted of any crimes from what I know of mm-hmm. even the whole human trafficking thing ended up like he hasn't even been charged him and his brother haven't been charged and it's come out that allegedly what happened the girl flew over there to sleep with Tristan and there was, there was a party and then her bo- boyfriend saw an Instagram posting and says, oh, why are you rare to her, to her? Mm. And so cool. And then he said, oh, like, I, I'm being held here. With, I want to leave the rare to her, rare to her. And obviously, they called it, he called it the embassy and that, and they have to investigate that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it's, yeah. a, that, it's a serious ac- allegation That's a to serious make. serious accusation, bro. So obviously, if, he's, if, he's, if it comes out, if he gets convicted of that, of course he should be uh, stripped and that, because because that because that's a very bad, that's a serious thing to, to do, human trafficking. But, he hasn't. There's no proof of him doing anything, and from most of most of the things he's, he, most of the things I've seen these like leftist posts and that it's like, mm. it's either things that have been taken out of context, or his satirical satirical pieces, which like you can't really do nothing. Like if you take a clip out of context, like that makes your your message worse. They like, don't understand. Like, mm. but you know what I see with the left, bro? I think the left just need to fuck off, yeah? Because when there's a... <laughs> bro, because I'll be real, yeah? When there's a, if you go on Instagram and you see a, the guy who cancelled Andrew Tate, that gay guy, who's a he, they, whatever, and is a, is a kid Jew... Go on, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't, we're not trying to get, like... There's, I, I'm not saying I don't agree with it, but there's other people who, who... There's a lot of people who won't disagree with it. For example, nearly every Muslim don't agree with it. Mm-hmm. A kid Jew, he, they... There's, every Muslim's against that, okay? So... Mm-hmm. 
the fact that you you still have a platform, you don't see them people who don't agree with you trying to take down your shit. Facts. They're not trying to say, oh, don't let this guy post Instagram. But you have Andrew Tate, who doesn't give a fuck about any of you guys, doesn't give a fuck about no, none of you, just talk in his mind, and you guys preach freedom of speech and all that. You say, oh, everyone's entitled to think how they think. So why, do you, why are you trying to get him cancelled for? And another thing as well is like, I see a lot of people say, oh, he said some homophobic things, which is true, which what is he true. He said this homophobic. Like he said he wouldn't perform CPR on, on, on a male because oh, it's gay. homophobic? That's, that's your choice, bro. You're not legally obligated to do that. No, it's I, I, morally wrong, but there's no morals in this country anymore. So No, no, I hate what you're saying. Mm. But like, glitch. So even if he has said some stuff, like every time I see people agree with him or in the comments or whatever, people will be saying. Sometimes you hear some of the, the people on the left and some of these girls say, "Ah, oh, if you like men, just say that." Is oh, that your boyfriend? Bro. Like literally, you're contradicting this your whole your oh, whole ideology, bro. Like, bro, it's so, bro. Whenever you tell girls the truth, they they hit you with, "Ah, oh, are you Gary? Are you this? Are you that?" Mm-hmm. Like, bro, let's talk about the girls in London, bro. <sighs> it's a, it's not there, bro. I think it's actually that, bro. I was at the club with Pokey Banks like mm-hmm. about a week a bit ago, I think. Yeah, about a week ago. And then, bro, when I was in the club, yeah, I went to this club. I went to this club that um I met a girl at before, yeah. And I've been airing her hella. Like, I've been bare airing her. So I did, I was thinking, oh, I might see her again there. So I'm looking around trying to make sure I don't see her. And I'm I'm just clocking, like, I'm like, raw, like, it's all black girls as well. I'm like, raw, you, you all look the same. Like, you all look the Ooh, same, you're gonna hit them. Oh, you're gonna hit them. Nah, bro. bro like, you all oh look the same. Oh, my God. Oh, same. my it's God. It's the eyelashes. It's the fucking, and then when you talk to all of them, let's be real, it's the same personality. I'm a boss CEO, Love Island, Star Signs. That's no, it. You know, because you know what, like, like, I, my preference is black and mixed race women for the most part. Same, same, Mm-mm. same. L- literally, that's, literally. My, that's my same. main preference. But literally, like, I, I do feel like in our community, like, uh, for whatever reason, a lot of women are on this whole like they're on this weird shit in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's weird shit? Like, in terms of like, you are oh, like, like my nigga has to pay for all the this and rare hair. But bro, if you like, if, like, if you want, if you want a high value man who's black, mm. bro. That he makes exceeding of a hundred k a year, that is that's a very very low. But I'll be real. When these girls mm-hmm. talk, like when I hear these girls talk about six figures and that, I've realized they don't know what six figures is. Bro. they've never seen that money. They don't know what that. They don't know what it takes to make that type of money. Takes, they're just mm-hmm. talking about like they're just saying what they think is nice. Like mm-hmm. it's not. They need guys need to understand that with girls, it's not about you. Don't need to be making a hundred bags a year. It's about the lifestyle you live, bro. That's mm-hmm. all it matters, bro. That's why do you think these niggas who drive rentals and shit and go to the club and spend all the money they make there get all pussy, bro? Because it's about the lifestyle, bro. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. These girls don't know how much you're making. If you're taking them, like, if you're just fucking bringing them places that high class places like nice restaurants, bringing them a nice car, that's all it takes. Mm-hmm. You don't need to spend bread on these girls. I saw a TikTok of a girl saying you have to send me two thousand pounds before I go on a date. With oh, you. I see. I, I know what one you're talking about. I saw that, bro. I'm thinking that, bro. Like, like that actually. That it shows how bad our community is. You, you hear white women say this. You hear Asian women say this. You know what you I'm saying? No, no, but not but in, compared to black women, mm. they don't say as much. But to be fair, the girl mm-hmm. we're talking about the same girl. She is Leng. So she probably had niggas spend money on her before. No, true. You got a point. You got a point. It, it's them niggas that ruin it for for, for everyone else, though, bro. Nah, they bro, be I'm ruining you, it, bro. Let me tell you what happens, though, bro. Let's mm-hmm. say, let me, let me, let's let's describe exactly what happened. You give her the two bags. She goes on a date with you, okay? You take her to Nobu, yeah, or yeah, Nobu. You take her to Nobu, mm. and then you get food, and then you get uh, you get a bunch of cocktails. If you get a bunch of cocktails, probably five, seven bills, maybe even more than that. That's the bill. So you're two point seven bags down. Okay, then you want to go to a hotel. You need to go to a nice hotel. So you're going to spend five bills. You go to, mm. the, there's one in Nicebridge, just like seven bills. So let's say there. So now you're on 3.4K spent. Okay. Mm. And what, during that whole day, you just, you, you're the one entertaining her, making her laugh. All she's there is, I'm a boss CEO. I'm a boss CEO. Love Island. Yeah, Love Island, <laughs> India. India. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Start, that's it. And then you get to the hotel, you chop her. And then you wake up and realize, what the fuck? This girl's annoying. What the hell is going Not on? It. Why did I do that? Bro, because literally you lost three point seven bags. Because this is why you need to be very careful, in, like in, in terms of who you choose to, to wife. Who, uh, you need to know who do you wife and who you just play with. That's it. Hundred like, percent. That that that's the main thing, though. But you know what? Like this is a question I had. You know, say if there's like a the son who agrees with Andrew Tate, but you know what? I feel like. Like saying that you dislike him gets you it, these days. It's getting you all the holes, bro. So that like, would you Not necessarily? I, I watch Andrew Mm-mm. Tate and Sneeko with my girl, bro. 
Your goal's a real one. Simple. <laughs> nah, but I've just patterned her, bro. Bro, PG. Mm -mm. That, that's her, good. Bro. That's good, bro. Like, I'm you... saying, it's a thing where, like, because when I was watching all these fucking Red Pool videos and that, like, your girl has to respect you, guys respect you, understand? My girl respects me and I respect her. It's a mutual thing. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. All this talk about, oh, I should be able to cheat and that, like, I don't want to cheat. No, I, <laughs> I don't want to. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, do you, you, you want to find the one and just stay with her, innit? Yeah, 100. You don't want to cheat and fuck other girls. That's long. Yeah, headache. It's a headache. headache. You have to hear them talk about India all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. No, and I hear, really? I hear you. I hear you. So, yeah, but this is what I, I got one for you. W will you ever go bait face? Absolutely, 100%. Never. Never? Absolutely Why? Absolutely, 100%. Never, bro. Why? How come? Because I'm not, I don't want to be in the hood, bro. I don't want to be trapped. I want to have not, a, I want to be legit. <laughs> no, but say that after a while you, like, obviously you said you don't you don't want, want to do the music thing too, too toughish. But like, say if you, you go to a different path and that and you maybe do so, so, some sort of business, surely you would want to know it would be good for exposure type of thing. Nah, but I'll just separate. My plan is, bro, like after this year, when I'm done with uni and I go legit, I'm trying to just tanks just cease to exist leave it well so you're just gonna like drop it type of thing yeah bro just leave it like just go become normal again bro oh damn Have peace. i told you bro i've nearly ended up in jail twice i've nearly ended up dead once that's my call to get the fuck out of this shit because surely you could you could still be doing the, the music and be living somewhere else type of thing uh, but then I it's mean. not but then i'll be legit i want to go legit then bro so I, and i can't be making music if i'm not living what i'm rapping about no but you've really lived you've lived that life though yeah, but you live it's changing that's the problem with F rap. F's always changing. There's always new ways, new things you're doing. Mm, that's true. That is true. But then, sure, you can even do the real rap thing. You can talk about stuff that's happening with you in life and whatnot. I, you know I, what I mean? I don't want to do that. <laughs> if I'm honest. No, nah, I hear you. Yeah. I hear I'm you. Just being honest. Love mm. the fans, though. But mm. yeah. I so yeah. So about about aren't you even gonna try to put on some new artists and that? You know what I'm saying? Like. Anyone that you could have a, under your wing, you know what I'm saying? Like a white tanks. You, let, let me tell you a story, okay? Go on. How me and my boy um, Willow, yeah, we wanted to sign this kid that is fucking art. Uh, I'd even play his music. Like, he's fucking talented. Like, we took him to the studio and he shelled it. The kid's got a singing voice like mad. Mm. And this, he's way better than that Lil's dude. You understand? That Lil's so? <laughs> Like, much. He's mm -hmm. like, imagine a Lil's, yeah, same age. So, uh, he's Arab as well. And he fucking, like, he could fucking sing. Like, he's like a, a singer, bro. Like an Adele. Like a female Adele, bro. Um, And we're trying to sign him. But his dad blocked it. Oh, shit. His dad wouldn't let happen. And we're giving him a good deal. We're saying, like, we'll say, listen, sign to us. We'll pay for your studio. Well, we'd already paid hundreds of pounds in studio time for him for free. We're like, we'll pay. We'll get you, uh, we'll get you, we'll shoot a music video, do all of that. And then we tried to sign him. We really wanted to. And then it just fell through because of his dad. And then a month later, fucking Lil's comes out. And we're just like... Oh. We're just thinking if this guy's dad just signed, like you would have been Lil's, mm -mm. bigger than Lil's, because you're actually talented. Hundred. You know what I'm saying? He knows who he is if he sees this. Mm -hmm. Is he still doing music or not? I don't think he's released nothing. A couple of his friends have released stuff. His friends are talented as well, mm -hmm. but him, like I don't want to say his name for privacy, but he is talented as fuck, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, since that happened, I just said, yeah, I can't deal with this thing. I'm not trying to put other people on. Now. I'm just trying to do my own thing. Fair enough. Fair enough, man. So yeah, so obviously big up. Actually, you know what? Before before we close this, we might as well go in and say that yo. So we might as well give them the story about how we 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 got acquainted in that store. Okay. So yeah. It's not that much of a story, bro. Yeah, it was that in it. It was that. Yeah, it's just like yeah. We was at um, I was at a lazy show. I was performing at lazy show, and then I saw bro there. Like bro came up to me. No, bro, you were backstage, innit? Oh uh, yeah, I was backstage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were backstage, and I saw you recorded the whole thing as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's all recorded. Shout out oh. One Dance Radio. Yeah, shout out One Dance Radio. Yeah. Why? Well, yeah. So yeah, I just he asked me for an interview after, and I said yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Followed each other on Instagram and that. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's Pete, bro. It's pattern. I swear, bro. Like literally, shout out yourself for coming, bro. Like it was just random. I just woke up one night. And was like, oh, thanks, message me. I was, mm. like, I was saying that and it's like, yeah, I'm still on this. So I was like, let's get it, man. So yeah, sh bro. big up yourself. This is a good interview, man. So let's get it, man. Wow. Hundred, bro. So yeah, what? And lastly, what what music can we see from you in future, bro? Anything that we can keep our eyes out for? Anything you keep your eyes out for? My chat with YA. Okay. Mm -mm. There's we got we got one on his album. One of his album mixtape coming soon, and mm -hmm. then we got what we got, we got another song we're making as well. Then my song with my nigga K One, not K One M Fifteen, K One. We swap, it's hard as well. 
Uh, yeah, a couple other songs there, man. Just pre-recorded shit. Yeah, mixtape dropping soon, man. Oh, s- yeah, man, mixtape dropping soon, literally, bro. Fair enough, man. I fuck with it, man. Come on, keep on doing your thing, bro. But we out, man. That V V media way, you know the vibe. Yeah, it's V media way. Come on, come gang on, man. Shit. This guy's bolo as fuck, bro. I man, love, snap I, my fingers in that. My bad, my bad. Come <laughs> on, bro. But let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, love having me.